Hello and welcome to the Lazy Brook Farm. Today I've got an interesting project. We're working on this bad boy. I was able to catch it in one hell of a deal, but it does need a little bit of work. Uh, there's a lot of play in the handle. Turn it quite a few times before it'll do anything, so I do want to take that out. Really stiff to, to move and twist. Takes a lot of effort, so that needs a little bit of work. The, the, the jaw's a little loose here. So I figured I'll take you through the process to rebuild this thing. Never done this before, so I'll probably make a few mistakes, but it'll be fun. Oh wow, I'm lucky. That's actually pretty loose. But it's not the source of our play. I already know that one. It does have a slight warp to it, but that's probably okay. that beastie. That definitely needs some cleaning. I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like somebody's already pulled this apart. Allen on one side and some little bolt on the other side. Should be interesting trying to get that out. How in the world did they even tighten that thing? If anyone has any ideas on how to get this one loose, I'd love to hear it, because this is probably going to take me a while. Oh, oh. Okay, that part was not too bad. Rust. No, the, these are not a Phillips. They are rounded and damaged to hell. This one looks even worse. Oh, hey, just right. Perfect. No longer an Allen. Did the screwdriver. So that's just about everything cleaned and most of it we're just gonna put a nice coat of paint on, should be easy. Some of the spots we're gonna oil like uh, the shaft here so that uh, it stays rust free. But the play that we're fighting with, that's this problem right here. You can see it's actually got a little bit of uh, a ledge there and what I believe has happened is where from the shaft actually chewed up slowly into there and wore it out. So, something you can do to fix it is, you know, get a washer that happens to fit right into that hole or fill it with well. So, it's not completely horrible, but you know, it's not bad. So, good news, it fits just about perfect. A tiny bit of wobble to it, but I don't think you'll even notice that. And that's it for today. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and join me next time where I'll be making the pipe fitting brackets, I'll be painting, and doing the final assembly. 
have a fantastic day.